Welcome back to Cruisenick Sanctuary, Final Fantasy XIV Endwalker, and the uh, Sildin Subterrane, Cruisenick X along with Arya Stormborn. This is my show. Mm-hmm, sure it is. Also joining us are Lord Phyrex and Corlash. Oh, hello. Hello. Ooh. Corlash has a pretty bird. Oh. That's the Draught Chocobo. Bird. Anyways, once again, we are playing Final Fantasy XIV and Walker. Um, we're working on going through all the paths at the time of this recording. Um, I missed... I missed a... I totally forgot to highlight some of the paths we went through, so we're going through them again with Arya Stormborn this time so that she can go through them. Uh, this time, we are going through Path 8, if I remember right. Yes, uh, it is 8. We're going to try. We're if someone do. flips the right switch. <laughs> yeah, we'll see about that. Um, Alright, so. Let's get right down to it. No <laughs> That's getting right down to business. Oh, my bad. It's not lame. In a gallery. Who said it was lame? Who do you think? Oh, he's lame. Alright, my... Oh, yeah, make sure you have Dan's on. Oh, yeah, hold on. Hello. What, what? I can dance when I want to. Yay. I can leave my friends behind. If the friends don't dance, and if they don't dance either. Yay, we're not lagging this much. What? Whoa. No lagging. Oh, run away! Run away. And give him sustained damage. Run so far away. Clear. Up the stairs we go. Alright, we pull the switch. Pull the switch. Arya said creepy crocodiles. Uh, even creepy crocodiles have feels. Yeah, I remember. 
looks interesting. I saw. Looks interesting from what I saw of it. Yeah. I like how they're doing a little bit, kind of, like, take that book pad with it. Mm -hmm. And, uh, Wendy is still a child. Alright, we turn the lev the handle whichever way. Which way is whichever way? Up, down, all around. Okay. What's that? That 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 sound I'm hearing in the background. What? I'm hearing a uh, like someone breathing on the mic. Oh, uh, no, that's just the uh. For one, you shouldn't be hearing that. It's the best way to describe it, like something, like something breathing or vibrating on the mic. It shouldn't be. I've got a boom arm and I've got the... Yeah, but if I'm concentrating really hard, I... I don't know. It's just an odd sound. I'm trying to figure out where it was coming from. Oh wait, I just remembered Arya's uh, on Discord. I'm on the mic. On a headset, I should say. She's on the headset, I'm on the mic. Oh wait, uh... God, we are sucking at this right now. I like the yet. <laughs> oh. It's inevitable at some point. Okay. <laughs> okay, Thanos. It doesn't have anything to do with Thanos. It has to do with my trap record. Oh, far one. Stay here. On the arm on the red it's gonna push.
Uh, blue. Start to move to the left in three, two, one, go. Far blue. Move. Stay on me. Stay on me. Red. All right, Gary on the steer is down. Hey, Gary. Going up. Ah, the royal bed chambers. No. Oh wait, it's the bed. So there's a bed. Final, Final Fantasy, not Harry Potter. Hmm. Oh, hello. Is now really the time to sleep? Yes. Yes. Always. See? They agree with that. Mm hmm. Alright, defeat the enemies. Uh, trying to sit in chairs is not gonna... Get us through this. this is a game. You, you never know till you try. Exactly. You 
taking yourself way too seriously. I'm not taking myself way too seriously. I'm just saying. And I'm saying that I want to sit in it. If I see a chair, I'm going to sit in it. Speaking of I am a cat. She is. See? We've actually sat her in a box once. You did not. Shut up. What do you call this room? It's not a box. A room. A room. <laughs> see? Technically, a box can be a room. It fits, I said. go all right use the right the right one Ooh. Yeah, I did the right one this time. No, I mean you did the thing so I can't see the cutscenes. Uh, we've seen the cutscenes before for these ones. Alright, let's take out the gladiator of Sildin. One, two, two. Move. Nice dodge there, Arya. One, two, three. Move. Yep. Oh, move, move, move. We're dead. I have no idea what that. Oh. If you don't heal yourself, you're going to be dead. <laughs> <laughs> I was healing myself. One, two, two. Now.
There we go again. One. One. Uh, two. Three. Now. Alright, we're halfway through them. Follow me. One. Two. Two. Move. So far, so good. Oops. I messed up my combo. Shame. I prefer pretzel and cheese myself. One. One. See, Go. I knew it wasn't inevitable. The Hyperion Corporation would like to remind Arya Stormborn that the afterlife is extremely boring and not worth visiting. Arya Stormborn would have liked to inform the Hyperion Corporation that sometimes these things do happen repeatedly. Uh, oh, shit. I'm gonna get hurt, but... One, two, three. In. One, two, three. Move. Almost there. And we made it. Another one bites the dust. Bum, bum, bum. Another one bites the dust. And another one gone. And another one gone. Another one bites the dust. Anyway. Ooh. I got a parasol. Ooh. You got a... Oh. Ooh. Okay. Alright. Um, I got a Sabatender parasol. Nice. I've only All got right. time for one more run. Okay. Um, we're gonna... First, we're gonna check out the new log we got. Um... And that was uh, for Ulda and Silde. Arya, would you like to do the honors? Let's see if my voice behaves itself tonight. When Belladia 
I'm pronouncing that wrong, I'm sure. No, you're pronouncing it right, actually. No. Splintered into Olda and Silde. The division only deepened with time. The history books tell the tale of escalating hostilities, of how the advent of the traitor Spurn devastated the Sildens and brought the conflict to a horrific end. Olda would later migrate to the site of the fallen metropolis, where even now the ruins of the past dot the landscape or lie hidden from view deep underground. Such remnants proved useful when routing the municipal waterways, and so did they refer to the section of the subterranean as the Silden Aqueducts, given that the war turned savage over water sources. It seemed to me that the de a designation of particularly ghoulish sensibilities. Distastefully, distasteful naming aside, it should come as no surprise that these old tunnels fed into other vestiges of Silda. And yet I was wholly unprepared to set foot in the royal palace itself. Had the structure been exposed above ground, the wind-driven sand coupled with the heat of the Thanalan sun would have led to extensive erosion, but cocooned beneath the earth as it was, its chambers have been perfectly preserved. How rare it must have been to encounter such ruins in an unspoiled state. It will prove our historians with a wealth of material to study, assuming that they can navigate the intervening passages. We must clear the way first and foremost and secure a safe path through. All right. We've got three more to do, and the next one will be in the next episode. We're going to take a quick break, and we will return. If you're watching on Twitch, stay tuned, but if you haven't done it yet, hit the follow button, turn on notifications so you are informed, and if you're feeling generous, throw some bits our way to contribute to the channel, or subscribe for access to exclusive videos and live streams. If you're watching on YouTube and you like this video, click the like button below and leave a comment. Subscribe by clicking here and click the bell icon for notifications. Click here to watch the entirety of the Endwalker playlist. Click here to watch the previous episode. And click here to watch the next one. See you in a bit.